Hey everyone, it's Frankie Lou. I'm coming to you today from the kitchen of the Grow Together Homestead where I'm going to talk about seeds. Like you haven't heard me talk about <laughs> seeds before, but I have noticed a few people asking questions lately about some of the things specifically around seeds and milk dung planting. So I thought this might be helpful, okay, is to understand why these crazy little milk ducks work so well. Okay, so first off, seeds are fantastic, miraculous little, I like to call them perfect little packets of promises for next year's gardens, okay? Because they are spectacular. Each of these tiny, tiny little seeds contains all the potential for a whole plant. A seed is essentially made up of a few parts, including the embryo and a seed coating, okay? Now, seeds have been around for a really long time, much longer than we've been using them. We've been using seeds for, uh, you know, give or take 10,000 years or so, but they've been around for, well, depending on which scientist you're talking to, seeds have been around in one form or another for about 300 million years, okay? So they know what they're doing. And um, that is one of the reasons why milk jugs work so well, is because it replicates a lot of the natural processes that take place with seeds, so that you'll have better germination rates, healthier seedlings, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so why does this work? Well, stratification is one of the main reasons. Seeds have a seed coating. And that's a really, really important piece because if the plant lives in really harsh conditions, like say, oh, I don't know, here, Southern Alberta, where it can get super cold, the plant needs the seed coat to stay in place and do its job of protecting all that important information and all that important nutrition for the baby plant until it's been triggered and it's time to germinate, okay? So a lot of seed coats are actually really, really strong. And that's why you often will hear gardeners talk about stratifying their seeds or scarifying their seeds, basically doing things to the seeds to break, help break down these seed coats so that it'll be easier for the plant to grow, right? It's come in tons and tons of different shapes and sizes. And unfortunately, the shape and size of the seed doesn't give you any indication as to whether it requires stratification or not. You might think, oh, big hard seeds do. But one of the seeds that, was, that I have had lots of challenges with, strawberry seeds, are like minuscule and they require stratification. They've got like an amazing seed coat. Okay, so what happens with winter sowing is you are letting mother nature take care of the stratification for you. I get asked all the time, okay, did you soak those asparagus seeds before you put them in? Did you nick those nasturtium seeds? Did you nick the hollyhocks? Like all, I get asked all the time, like, nope, I put them in the, <laughs> into the milk jug in moist soil. That's really important. I get asked a lot about, didn't you water that soil at all? I make sure this soil is really nice and moist prior to putting it into the milk jugs, okay? Because usually stratifying requires two things, moisture and cool, okay? So you wanna make sure this is a really nice moist so soil. You wanna make sure you leave that lid open at the top so that precipitation can get in there and water the jugs when they need it. And you also, especially with the hardy perennials, you want this to freeze for a little while. That is why I'm putting my hardy perennials out right now. I've got through the worst of the Chinook season here in Southern Alberta. If you live somewhere where you don't deal with Chinooks, you can be putting your hardy perennials out Christmas time, okay? But I'd have to worry about temperature fluctuations a little bit more. So I start putting them out because I have my last frost here, end of May, beginning of June. I'm gonna have plenty of time for that stratification to take place, okay? So what's gonna happen is I'm gonna put my little seeds, I'm gonna put some asparagus in here today. I put my little asparagus seeds in there, all right? They've got a nice hard seed coat. It's a hardy perennial here in Southern Alberta. I have lots of asparagus beds and I'm just gonna press them nice and nice into the soil. Okay, cover them up just a tiny little bit. That's another thing when you are planting seeds, a general rule of thumb is the smaller the seed, the less you have to plant it down in. Because as I said earlier, the nutrition that's, that takes care of that baby plant as it's growing is inside that seed with it as well. And so it requires that nutrition to sustain it till it can reach the light and use photosynthesis to sustain it by 
producing its own food with the help of the sun, right? So until photosynthesis occurs, what's nourishing the seed is what's inside the seed itself. So if you plant that seed too deep, oh, that seed might struggle to get all the way up to the surface where it can start photosynthesizing after it starts producing leaves. Okay, so do follow those seed um, packs that instructions of how deep to put your seed in. But if you don't have a seed pack, if somebody just gifted you some seeds, lucky you. But also what you wanna do is um, go as a general rule of thumb. You don't want to bury that seed more than two to three times the depth of the size of the seed. Okay, does that make sense? So that nutrition will have, there will be enough nutrition in that seed to help it break through the surface. Okay, so what I've done is I've got my little asparagus seeds in here, right? They got a nice hard coat, they need stratifying. I'm gonna take this up, put it out in a snowbank. Now that is gonna freeze up nice and hard, okay? It's moist. Those seeds are gonna be sitting there. Uh, <laughs> it's a long time before I'm gonna be seeing anything sprouting here. But that's also a good thing when it comes to my hardy perennials because they need a good amount of time. I always say to people when they ask me, am I too late? Am I too late to get hardy perennials out? As I said earlier, there's a variable amount of time that require, that seeds require stratification. But a good rule of thumb somewhere before four and eight weeks. So if you've got six weeks of cold weather still coming your way, you still probably have time to get those hardy perennials. You know, that's sort of middle ground. Um, those hardy perennial seeds will be fine probably if you put them out in the milk jugs now. So these are going to be treated like Mother Nature would, which is probably the best way to treat a seed, right? So why not let Mother Nature take care of it? I don't have time to take care of all of these plants that I'm planting here. So I let the milk jugs do that. I let Mother Me Nature do that. It's going to stratify those that seed, break the coating when the time is right my seedlings will emerge and be nourished by the sun. Okay, I hope that was helpful. Um, I'm gonna do another couple ones soon because I'm noticing some questions coming up say about soil types and stuff like that when it comes to milk jug planting. Please keep sending me questions because I love talking about this stuff <laughs> and I also want people to feel more confident about getting their seeds in the ground and trying some of this. It's not as hard as you think, especially when you use this type of method and as always, I hope you'll take this chance to grow together today. Have a good one.